so welcome and welcome back to my channel guys this is jb23 vlog so in this video guys i would like to share on how to carry out the load testing of our emergency generator so first of all guys we have to secure the power of the navigational bridge equipments such as the x band and the s band radars and the uh, data logger so those are the navigational equipments that we need to switch off before uh, carrying out load this of our emergency generator guys to avoid any problems or any malfunctions during the change of power source from main switchboard to emergency switchboard so here we come guys at the emergency generator room so all we have to do is to load test as you can see guys the our generator is in the standby mode so all we have to press is this button the emergency generator sequence test so be sure that our the engine is in auto position so just press and wait for the timer or wait for 20 seconds to activate the emergency generator guys so at all times our engine must be ready so in case of any power failure this uh, engine should be standby and ready for starting so as you can see guys now the engine is running and the ACB open a few seconds it will close the ACB and it will take the power and for those uh, connected to our emergency generator will be supplied accordingly so as you can see guys as you can see the transition in the air circuit breaker is now closed and the, there is uh, that uh, power guys as you can see there is uh, around 8 kilowatt so that's the emergency light in case that is supplied from our emergency switchboard so we will add some additional load if it's connected from our emergency generator so let's try to start a uh, load so now we have just started the engine room, engine room supply fan uh, just being started guys so now the load is 30 kilowatt so the procedure guys it uh when testing of the emergency generator it must it should last up to at about at least 15 minutes and we have to check all the parameters of our emergency generator such as the voltage frequency amperage and kilowatt and the engine parameters guys that's very important for us so as you can see the rpm the tachometer the lube oil pressure so that's the thing that we need to follow uh, during the test of this emergency generator so the frequency of testing of this engine guys or this task is in accordance with our PMS is about in every three months so we need to test guys so it's already past 15 minutes and uh, we are done with the testing of our emergency generator so as you can see guys that's the handle for our ACB to offload the emergency generator case just pull the handle uh, open and close that uh, red lever case just pull off that and it will open the air circuit breaker and don't forget to switch the emergency emergency generator to automatic mode so that it will this is the normal operation of the uh, our emergency generator so that's it guys until here and i hope you learned something about this video guys thank you for watching 
stay safe everyone bye bye